Hey guys, Tom at Snake River Base again. Wanted to talk a little bit about using the tailgate and the slider simultaneously. Tailgate for slider up. Uh, we posted the tailgate videos and uh, Bruno Ferrazza had posted a question asking about this. So Bruno, if you're watching, thanks for the question and uh, let's talk about this a little bit. You will see uh, some people, especially on terminal jumps, who choose to use the tailgate even when they're slider up. And you can see, basically you close it the same. Just sit it on top of the slider, bring the lines in, wrap it with rubber band. Uh, advantage of this is that it reduces the incidence of line overs while slider up. Disadvantages at short delays, you can sometimes see a snivel because the tail of the canopy is trying to blow open and trying to drive the slider at the same time. The primary driver of the slider's motion is pressure from the control lines on the top of the slider grommets. And if the tailgate is constraining the control lines, they can't push the slider grommets as well. So at short delays, low airspeed with the slider up, we sometimes see a little bit more snivel. At terminal, the openings are happening so fast anyway that it really makes very little difference. I don't really see any downside to using the tailgate and the slider simultaneously, especially at terminal. But at the same time, the slider is the most effective, tail the most effective canopy reefing device ever created, and the tailgate may be just sort of superfluous in this situation. You'll also see that some people are concerned about entangling the slider itself. This slider is a fine mesh, so that's not a huge issue, but there is some possibility, especially on a large mesh slider, of the tailgate and the slider somehow entangling each other and sticking the slider up there. If that's a concern, you have a couple of alternatives here. You could use tape instead of the tailgate. So we can just pull the tailgate out. and use tape to wrap those lines. And I think you're gonna greatly reduce the chance of some kind of unintended entanglement because the tape is much flatter and doesn't stick away from the lines. So we could use tape in this situation. And that's a reason why some people like to use tape instead of a tailgate because they prefer to use the tailgate slider up. And you can see that will perform the same task, constraining the tail with minimum chance of entangling the slider. Another option we see something we uh, have historically referred to as the slider gate. Some manufacturers will install a tailgate stow on the trailing edge of the slider. Originally saw this on vertigo canopies uh, in the mid to late 90s. Uh, saw some basic research canopies that had it, but I think that was after the merger with vertigo into Apex, so that's probably where it came from. This canopy is a squirrel outlaw. As far as I know, this is the only production canopy in the world that has a slider gate stow on the tailgate. And basically you do the same thing here. You just take this tailgate, wrap it, around the lines and close the tailgate normally here. The idea here is that you, you have reduced the entanglement potential because the tailgate is physically attached to the slider, it has to stay there. Uh, also creates a simple and convenient storage location and the slider still tends to slide freely. So this is another good alternative for tailgating one slider up. We'll see if this uh, resurges in popularity, this practice is using a slider gate as we call it, now that Squirrel is selling a canopy again with a trailing edge stove for the tailgate.